Welcome in everyone. It was a battle of undefeated teams as Davis County visited Albia tonight. And Albia having it deep within their red zone. Alex Schultz from a couple yards out bangs it in 7-0 Albia. Then Davis County answers Colton Roberts with a nice shovel pass all the way inside the 10-yard line. And then check out this catch by Park Michaels. Heady play by Calvin Up, recognizing the matchup. Michaels comes down in the end zone. 7-7 tie game, but Brett Leshen, quarterback for Albia, answers 55-yard touchdown run. Albia wins 17-7 on their homecoming. They move to 4-0. Kirksey was looking to use its speed against the size of Marshall. Marshall scored first when Alex Maupin finds Brandon Johnson for six. Kirksey kept the ball on the ground like it's done all year. Scott Schwind takes it outside. He turns on the Jets for the nice gain. However, the drive would stall. Kirksville had his best chance to score before the end of the half. It's Jonathan Bros with the nice catch then. Schwind would take it down to the one-yard line, but the Tigers could not punch it in as time ran out. For the second game in a row, it's no points for the Tigers. Marshall wins it 19 to nothing. Sigourney Kyoto hosted district opponent Wapolo tonight in an exciting game. And the run game really showed for Sigourney Kyoto in the first quarter. Colton Griner taking it up the left sideline. He's been very good for the Cobras this season. And the rushing attack would be the key in the game for the Cobras. Next up, Peyton Crawford gets his turn carrying the ball. And he rushes it down deep within the red zone right by the goal line. And then Colton Griner will carry it in for the touchdown. Sigourney Kyoto was down 16-8 at the end of the first quarter. They end up winning 50-44. Let's go out to Clark County as Macon took on the number six state-ranked Indians. Macon's first drive here. Craig Smith hits Levi Walker. That moved the chains for the first down. A few plays later, Smith rolling out again. This time to his left, Tyrone Walker, wide open, makes a couple moves, gets inside the five. Third and goal now, Smith, well, he'll call his own number. QB sneak, PAT good, 7-0 Tigers. But the state-ranked Indians wasted no time. On their first play, a little play action, and Austin Egley to Jacob Trump, 65 yards, 7-6. Missed opportunity here for the Tigers as the Indians mishandle the snap but recover and pick up a nice gain. Then on fourth down, Egley, he would sprint to his right. He picks up plenty for the first down. That led to this second quarter action. Tough running from the Indians running back. Touchdown Indians. They go on to win 42 to 21. Oskaloosa tried to win its first game against Sheraton tonight and Oskaloosa hosting Sheraton in their beautiful home stadium. And any fan of South Park will love this name, Token Hall from Sheraton with a nice return here. Sheraton really had a good special teams going in the beginning, and Token gets it all the way into Oskaloosa territory. Sheraton would score a touchdown on that drive. So with, with Sheraton up, sevens up, Oski battles back, Nate Van Veldhusen. Van Velhusen with a three-yard run there, 7-7 seven, seven tie game. Then fourth down, Token did a good job on that kickoff return. Not so good here, muffs the punt, Oskaloosa recovers, and that would be a killer because Nate Van Velhusen will take advantage of that and score his second touchdown right there. Oskaloosa wins 40-14. to They get their first win of the season. Schuyler County was home to face West Strand as the Rams were looking to get back on the winning track. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's a football. West Strand's Devin Perkins makes a great catch for the touchdown. Meanwhile, Schuyler County wasn't as lucky when they aired it out. Parker Howard takes it away. For the visitors, he makes a nice return, and two plays later, the Hornets get another touchdown. This time, it's on the ground. That made it 14 to nothing in favor of Westran. The Rams didn't quit. Zach Schmitter takes the little pass. He gets the first down. However, the drive was like bacon. It would sizzle and fizzle. Westran would go on to win it 45 to nothing. Now let's check out the sports scoreboard. 